So what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. It's about this, the Honda Hornet 750. I've got it for a couple of weeks. I'm going to put it through its paces on an everyday scenario. I'm going to work at the moment. I'm trying to scrub the tyres in. It's got brand new tyres. Whoever had this before has been very naughty. It's only done 1100 miles and it needed new tyres. So that goes to show you how much fun people have had on this bike. Now I'm going to have fun for the next two weeks riding it as a normal human being. I'm not a journalist. I'm not, well, let's just say I'm an average rider. I'm an okay rider. But let's get on with it. Stick around and I'll tell you a little bit more about what we're going to do as we're going along. As we pull out right behind a van, Hopefully I can get past the portable toilet before the bend. No. Right, so while we're stuck behind the toilet, <laughs> let me tell you a little bit more about this. I've already done a first impressions ride on this bike. Well, not this particular one, but a bike that's the same as this with the same colour, funnily enough. And you can check that out after you've watched this, of course, by uh, clicking on a link that I'm going to leave in the descriptions box. It's the first impressions ride of this. As I said, I'm on the commute at the moment. Lovely sign that. I have a fantastic commute to work and it's a good way to scrub in these tyres. What we're going to do on this bike we're going to have it for a couple of weeks i'm going to ride it as i normally do a lot of commuting which is not too bad as you can see and everyday riding as well that's my shopping my going out my going to the cafe my just everyday living with this for a couple of weeks to see how i get on with it and then at the end of that i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a conclusion of what i think about it as a day-to-day -day bike how easy it is to get on with it and I'll also go through some of the things I dislike and some of the things I like. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get the drop on those videos. This one is also fitted with the quick shifter. That's up and down. And I'm basically picking up where I left off with the first impressions ride. I really bloody like this bike. I love this engine. I'm a fan of twins, parallels, Vs, whatever twins. I like a twin. Boxer twin, that's another one. Oh, look at me. I'm full of technical information. It is quite comfortable. It's a little bit tucked up for my legs, but I'm getting used to it pretty quickly. And having fun on those country lanes, uh, you kind of forget about it. It's a little bit small for me. These lanes are pretty bumpy as well. Got to stand up over the bumps. What I'll do is pull up over here, give you guys a little bit of a look round of this bike. It's a nice, beautiful spot here. Sun shining. What more could you want? Right, so here she is in all her glory, the Honda Hornet. See, I don't make these things up. And also, 750. See, I know my stuff. It's in the pearl white. I don't know what it's called, pearl white. It is kind of like a pearl white. It's got a metallic fleck to it. So I'll assume it's a pearl white. But if it's not called that in the brochure, forgive me. It's got the red forks, red frame, black mud guards. Yeah, I think you can see for yourselves. You've got eyes, haven't you? It is a good looking bike. I'm still not sure about the front headlight, but when you're on it, you can't see that. I do like the back. I like these air duct kind of things, these aerodynamics. The exhaust, I'd get rid of that and put a new exhaust on here. But having said that, it's not too bad at all, as in standard form. It sounds okay, actually, but if you put a new exhaust on there, 
baffle out this is going to sound good because i'm not sure i think it's a 270 crank again don't quote me on that i should look at the details really before i pick the bikes up shouldn't i but it is a good looking bike i really like it so there you go that's the honda hornet and the tires we're trying to scrub in are sport max road sport twos and so far they're all right obviously i haven't gone over to the edge yet nor will i probably do that because i'm not that sort of rider i'm a sensible kind of chap you see but anyway let's take some beauty shots not of me of the bike put them on the gram where did all these cars come from it's not on not many cars when i'm doing a walk round. nice empty road and then all of a sudden cars galore and uh it's going to take me about six hours to put my gloves on anyway at this rate it red lines up at 10,000 revs so not bad at all it's got a nice clear dash on it well you don't put a gopro in front of it of course so as i said a little bit of commuting through the villages through the country lanes got a rubbish bit of dual carriageway coming up traffic in the evening we've got it all on this commute so over the next two weeks it should give me a good idea of what it's like to live with and i'm going to feed that back to you guys but just remember it's only my opinion if you want to know what you think about a bike go out there test ride them get on them it's the only true way you're going to find out at least sit on one to see if you fit it's very very well balanced at low speeds nice and easy to just poodle and creep just using the clutch and a little bit of acceleration there we go all full up now i can relax <laughs> it's nothing worse than a little bit of uh, empty tank anxiety i can certainly feel the front of new tire the back's okay but the front every now and again just gives a little bit of a twitch to let me know plus some of these roads are quite gravelly in the middle you can feel it moving around on the bump slightly not too bad but when you get on the smooth tarmac it's an absolute joy what a glorious day absolutely beautiful makes work a little bit more enjoyable when you're riding there in the sunshine sitting here at 40 miles an hour fifth gear it's really smooth beautiful we're ticking over at just 3,000 revs doesn't feel lumpy it's got a nice bit of torque when you open her up 35 it's quite nice easy to ride you can stick it in a high gear and just cruise around you haven't got to keep fighting the gearbox for every bend you can if you want to and have a lot of fun but for just plodding around it's good at that too this i get the feeling it is a great all-rounder i won't take it off road though so maybe scrub that bit in the all-round category but where you make up time on this road is on the roundabouts and acceleration because you can accelerate quicker away from the lights you can get the jump on everyone get up to 40 miles an hour create a nice gap around you and on the roundabouts you can pretty much take those at 30 40 miles an hour anyway if you're going straight not all the way around that would be ridiculous and it's only because they're nice big roundabouts as well i'm not recommending you take all roundabouts at 40 miles an hour just letting you know that i'm just saying on this road on a decent bike with good tyres in dry weather if there's nothing coming it's the fun bit we've got no traffic so it's hard to explain what it's like filtering don't get me wrong i love it like this this is my favorite type of riding no traffic but to give you guys an idea of how it filters in traffic it's a little bit hard when there isn't any so what i do is on the way home there's guaranteed to be more traffic because i finish in rush hour I will come back to filming then so you can see what it's like at filtering and then I'll conclude the video for today here we go quarter to six in the evening let's get a commute on 
I've got it in standard mode. I'm probably going to run it in standard mode for most of its life. I say most of its life, most of its life with me, I mean. And then I'll hit sport mode every now and again when I go and have a little bit of fun. Rain mode? I'll hit rain mode if it rains. The modes are there, you might as well use them. It's nice when they let you go. Doesn't happen often, but it's a good start to the commute. do it This is why we ride bikes. So there you go, only a little bit of filter ridge on the way home today, but it gives you an idea. And uh, yeah, first time commuting, first time filtering like that, not too bad at all, quite easy. A little bit snatchy, but we'll get used to that. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for this one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there will be more videos on this later down the line after I've had it for a few hundred miles, a few weeks, and uh, to see how I get on with it. See what it's like to live with. And on that note, I'll end the video here. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to do all those things that you need to do. Also, go over to my Instagram. Also, go over to my Twitter. Also, go over to my Facebook. But for now, you know I love you all. Stay safe. Fish out. Get all your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get go gone. Get gone. Get all your bags, get out my house I don't want your stuff around I never did you wrong But you did me wrong So go ahead and get gone